Ladies and gentlemen, sports fans and Sky fans, here we go then. International Light Heavyweight Contest. Firstly, and introducing to you, fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the blue trunks, tripped with yellow. Weighed in at 12 stone and 10 pounds. Taking part in his 34th professional contest. He's from the Ukraine. Would you please welcome Konstantin Okri. And ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing the black trunks, tripped with gold. Weighted at 12 stone and 11 pounds of war. It brings a 30 point record, 26 wins, 19 by a whale knockout. Only three defeats and one goal. He's the former three times world title challenger and the former Commonwealth champion from the beautiful city of the old Henry Walter. Referee in charge of the action from Leeds is Mickey Mann, and this is eight three minute rounds. Uh, own doorstep there going up to the light heavyweight division and not larking about does it it's his second contest at the weight previously won on the Lennox Lewis Shannon Briggs bill in Atlantic City that was last March so Okre Constantine might be easier to recognize from the Ukraine had 33 fights and he's won four or five this year on the hard sort of European circuit and he's boxed from the middleweight up to the cruiserweight, 13 stone 8 division. But Wharton actually is above the light heavyweight at 12 stone 11 and a quarter. And the, way the, cruiser, the light heavyweight is actually 12 7. But he's certainly filled out and looks the part now. He, he's had to work hard when he was in the super middleweights, the 12 stone division. And had three world title cracks and doesn't want to give up yet at the age of 30. Uh, don't blame him. It's, always had a good following very popular gives action dishes out the stick and doesn't mind taking some I think Wharton Reds for years has been so close to be just as good as the very best just so close there's just something missing at the very top level and I think it's the ability to get close to awkward opponents without getting hit in the way in it's just his little approach work as he gets himself into punching range if he faces someone who wants to stand and trade Wonderful, but someone a little bit smart always gives them problems. Well, as there, the, the Ukrainian got clipped him around the ears a little bit there to let him know he was in business. You know, when you look at Wharton, the way he moves around, his balance, his power, the way he throws the punches, he really looks excellent, 100%. But it's just his approach at top level is always just something missing from him. And there's the, the familiar cheers of the Henry Henry that we heard in the the fights against Ben, Eubank, Robin Reed. Just got caught with a left hand lead a bit too often, Jim. Not that I think this Ukrainian is an expert with a left hand, but he looks like being Mr. Awkward, dropping the hands. Certainly confident fighting in the other fellow's backyard. That's exactly what I mean, Reg. At top level, you have to get into punching range without taking one all the time. And that's what he's, uh, he's missed out. He just takes them on the way in. But uh, what a good fighter, lovely punches, real powerful left hook. Seven of his 26 wins, Jim, have been in the first round. He's such a nice bloke to Reggie, you want him just to grasp that little bit that's been missing. I think he had a chance of beating Nigel Benn if he, if he had more confidence in the early part of the fight, just taking a right hand uh, high. Don't want to take too many of those. Well, in, uh, in trade talk, Jim, I don't think this is going to be mad at all. 
they're working seem to go to sleep towards the end of the round. Reggie lost his concentration. A good right hand landed high. I didn't think it shook him, but uh, from that point on, he did nothing. I wonder if it did. A little, little swelling there again under the left eye with the, the end swell, the ice pack, as it were. At the end of the round, Jim, this is where he, he had a good run here, uh, Constantine. Well, he'd already taken that shot just on the, you know, above the, the right ear. And I didn't think it troubled him, but the fact that he's done nothing since, and he's really not hanging on here, but not competing, I wonder if it did shake him up just a little bit. He certainly lost his way at the end of the round, lost his concentration all over the place here. Long time trainer Gary Atkin in the corner, and that venerable old gentleman just put his head in there is Terry Lawless. Many of the world champions, and I've got one uh, right next to me with Jim Watt. Round two, scheduled only for eight. Up in the 75-pound division. This is one hard nut, Jim. Well, I tell you, Watkin had given him something to think about with some good body shots in the early part of the round, but the guy got all his confidence back with that attack at the end of the round, so Watkin has it to do again. He better start buying some of these stiff left hooks home, especially downstairs. See, he, lo he lost to the Irish cruiserweight Darren Corbett, this Ukrainian. I would have thought anything Corbett could do, Wharton certainly could. This guy is showing a total lack of respect for Wharton Reg. Hands down, just walking forward, absolutely no defence. Wharton has to pull out a solid shot here and give this fella something to think about. He really fancies the job here. He's looking stronger than Wharton Red, which is a big surprise. Wharton does not fight going back. No, he's got to stand his ground and slug it out with his fellow now and get him off. To be effective, Wharton has to come forward, Red. He can't be pushed back. That's better, boxes away in a bit with that left hand, and there he goes, doubling up now. That's a bit more like the walk you know. He's certainly been in a few melting pots in his time, Walton. in the back of the hall, it was actually a bit of a slap with the left foot, it made such a noise. Well, Walkman's letting him know, well, you, you might be a hard nut, but I can play that game too. I don't like the way he's pulling himself back on the rope side of that, Jim, he's got to slip, start getting away from that. No, you'd expect novices to do that on the rope, it's not Henry Walkman fought three times for a world title, this is better, looking a bit more compact now. This fellow is certainly better than expected. Fight his way out of that corner now, Wharton. There's no use letting himself stand there as a target for this fellow because his, the punches are, well, not only awkward but quite strong too. That's what worries me. The fact when it oh comes dear. to strength, this fellow's in top. This fellow is stronger than Wharton. I wouldn't have believed that. Wharton has to fight back here. Oh, he's, he's never in a dull fight, Walton. He really is taking a bit of stick, but now he's starting to get it out at the end of the round. Cranium very pleased with his uh, night's work so far. A little bit of protection there. At one time, they made them take off those beards. Let's have a look at the end of the round again. Well, I would worry, Reg, the way this fella is outstrengthening Wharton. He's pushing him back and keeping him there. Wharton's doing silly things on the ropes, leaning back with no defence. At a time when he should be coming forward and throwing some counter punches, he's going to sleep. These are thumping big shots, they're landing high, but they're troubling Wharton. I don't know if Wharton has underestimated this guy, maybe thinking, eight round class, I'm too well. good for everybody. They were certainly pointing fingers at Walton there, the corner men there, Atkin and Lawless saying, no, come on, we're allowing this fellow too much room. And the third round. Yeah. 
See, Reg, when you're up at 12 and a half stone, you can't afford to give the guy pot shots. Every punch takes its toll on you, takes his team out. So you don't want to take them if you don't have to take them. So he's grabbed the centre of the ring now. So much better there, Wharton. Good short hooks he throws in as well. He's just got to stand and trade with this Ukrainian gym. He can't allow him any headroom there. Well, not so much trade, Reg, but uh, well, out technique him, you know, yeah, push him it. back yeah. and, and just use his skill, use his experience. Don't just stand and trade, because this fellow is very strong and he stood his ground and he's coming back here. Trying to take over a bit now, though, isn't he? Trying to take the play away from him now, Walton. Well, I keep saying, Reg, that the jab is still the best punch in the book. And it's fights like this where a good, solid jab can get you out of trouble. Oh, another good shot. There he goes again. He's right above us here. You feel like sort of slapping him on the leg and saying, come on, turn him round, Henry. Don't let him take pot shots at you. He's behaving like a novice at times on the ropes, work, and I don't understand it. He's usually so compact, so tight. But what a good fight, Reg. Well, no, as I said, never been in a dull fight in his life, Wharton. He's taken too many clean shots, Reg. Oh, that was a peach of a right hand there for the body. Long one. See, so he's signed this little bit of respite there. He went, he went in and was looking to hold there, the Ukrainian. He's got some jaw on him and he's as strong as anything, the, the so-called underdog. See, that's the problem, Reg. You're expecting Wharton to get three or four rounds in the bank without exerting himself at this level. But he's not doing that. This is tough right from the word go and he's making it tougher than it's got to be. Well, this is one game guy this year, Brandon Jim, isn't he? You think, you know, he's... He'd say this fellow Wharton, three world championships, held three of his world Europeans, his hometown. Just when that bell goes. And the difference, Reg, you see his punches landing cleanly. Wharton's punches have been partially blocked on the defence, but all of the Ukrainians' punches are going right through, landing cleanly, right on the target. See, Wharton's getting punched, he's punching through the defence, but the Ukrainian is going right through the wide gaps in Wharton's defence. Now, this really is a struggle for Henry Wharton. Well. Tell you what, like, I've seen him once before, as I say, losing uh, to the Irish cruiserweight, Aaron Corbett, and uh, there's no way that I thought he'd really give Walton that amount of trouble. I'm just wondering, given whether he's, he's carrying, when he's right up in that weight like that, whether it has slowed Walton down or not, I don't know. Well, I don't know if it's his attitude, Red. You seem too relaxed in the first round, as if uh, this is no problem. I've been better and, I, and I've fought better. But he, and he's falling asleep in the rope, he's making so many mistakes. He's leaning back here, you can't throw counter punches with your body weight over the top rope. I mean, at this point, you should be thinking, chin down, shoulders hunched, and get forward and push the guy back and then get some punches off. Not falling over the top rope with no balance, no power, nothing whatsoever. And the other fellow's allowed to be off on you, doing everything wrong when he's back to the ropes. Well, another... Fierce battle again, coming out the fourth round. See, when he goes to work, Reggie is in a different league. Get that jab working. Don't exert yourself if you don't have to. That's what he wants, Reg. Long range, the jab, get involved with this fellow in the last minute of every round, not the first minute. She listened to some corner advice there, Wharton. He's trying to change the tactics. Well, I'm sure that's what his corner will be telling him, Reg. Why have a slug feast with a guy when you've got more talent? You're bringing it down to his level and letting him right in the fight. It's going to be a test of the Ukrainian stamina as well, I suspect. Because he could have been... 
his legs really buckled underneath him there. And he will stand to hit some ropes like this. When he, when he watches replay, you're wondering why he's doing this. He's pulled himself back. Look at the way he's come back. Yeah, yeah, what a flash guy this is. Oh dear, oh dear. He's not going to endear himself to the York Prowl, I tell you that, the Ukrainian. But I tell you what, he's one game guy. Yeah, and at this kind of fight, Reg, it's starting to look as though he's better equipped for it. He, he seems naturally stronger than Wharton. Wharton's the one with the talent, but he's not using it. See, Wharton is fighting him at his own game. And I think now, Reg, he's too tired to change. I think he's just going to have to soldier on the way he's doing. Yeah, he's he's used up a lot of strength. He's, he's walking in southpaw occasionally too. You notice that, Jim? Walking. Yeah, because it's not a boxing match now. It's just a sheer test of character and strength and guts. But uh, Okri must have been hoping for this kind of fight. And a good punchy from Walton. Uh, quality. Beautiful combination, that one. How is he going to wear this Ukrainian down on that? You might doubt it. It really is punch for punch. Well, the Ukrainians works a little bit ragged now, Reg. I think he's lost a little yeah, bit of he's, momentum he's himself. Heavy too, as you notice that, Jim. Yep. He's inhaling a bit more now. Wharton getting a bit more time to get the shots off, but uh, what a show of guts from Wharton, because this has been tough. This is what he wants. Keep him at long range and push him back if possible. Don't let this fellow come forward. Coming up to the end of the round, a good round, Mr. Wharton. <laughs> well, the, the work won't be quite so harsh as it was thought in that corner now. And uh, it's going to need the old brain box there of Terry Lawless and, uh, and Gary Atkin to really keep this fellow in front. There, you see, he's thrown more punches there, according to our stats, the, the Ukrainian. Pulled himself together a lot better there, though. He's one or two combinations there as we watch it in, in slow motion replay again now. There's Wharton, he chopped that right hand punch in, but he, he took it so well. Yeah, oh. but there was a bit of class in what someone that was. That, that was the big one, yeah. But this is where he shows his character. He shouts back at the guy, he pulls himself together, takes a couple of seconds, and then comes screaming back again. Quality and Wharton's working that round for the first that's, time. That's his best shot there. for the fifth of a scheduled eight and the man who's had three world title cracks Henry Wharton wants to get another one if he can at a higher weight he's got a fight for the European Championship and he'll be rooting for Paul for Ashley to win that well Okri has come out for the first time Reg and started circling that's a good sign for Wharton he's volunteered to go on his back foot he's not pushing forward in that awkward manner he did earlier so he is feeling the pace as well. So this will give Watt a little breather for the first minute before he gets right down to work, and that's what he wants to do. It's amazing, Jim, if you're looking at the record, you know, this, this fellow from the Ukraine, he's, he's had 33 fights, he's only won 15 and drawn one. Well, I bet he's not been offered too many easy matches, oh, yeah, that's the trouble. Yeah, that's right. This is better from Watt, he's getting the room and the time to punch now. Well, uh, just the edge of experience uh, shows up there. Although he's actually had less fights, he's always fought far higher class, actually, Henry Wharton. Is that sneak right hand again? Yeah, he more or less shows the punch too, doesn't he, Mr. Constantine? And then yeah. he lands with it. It's the awkwardness. I mean, he's done it again. If you don't think he can land from where he is, and he manages it, he's... He's an awkward fellow. Yeah, he springs in a little bit. And what there, is lack he? of defence is we're looking at him, it's not helping. Oh, OK, a lot mobile now. Yeah, that was yeah. good from Wharton. He took a lot of steam out of OK without throwing a punch. Just kept on top of him, kept chasing him around the ring without even throwing a punch. He tried to take a deep breath there. Did you notice that, Jim Oka? Well, I knew from the way he started the round, Greg, right, that he was feeling the pace. As the first heavy back top, and Wharton is really moving in now. <laughs> 
shots that's finishing him here so Mickey Van's not too worried yeah it's not as though it's been big head punches it put him on the floor so Mickey Van knows his head's clear he's given him a chance to get back into the fight good round there for Wharton he's, he's right back in the fight now he's shoving him back and he's whispering in his ear there every second I don't know what he's saying obviously we can't pick that up that's, uh, if we could we wouldn't understand it that's the body shots landed there just look at that 11 to 1, although the referee uh, discounted a couple of them. Let's have a look at the knockdown then. Here it is, Jim. So Watton's quality beginning to come through now. He just blasted. I mean, right from the start of the round, Ockery was struggling a bit. That was the body shot that sank him and took all the fight out of him. Yeah, there he goes. Right above our commentary position there. Right, he lovely. Was, he was looking towards us, the Ukrainian, as he went down there. That was a delayed action shot. The left hook to the sank right in behind the elbow and down he went a couple of seconds later sixth round coming up and this hard nut from the ukraine was really under fire there but you cannot ride him off strong as a bull i wonder if this will be a final fling for the ukrainian give it all he's got in the first minute and if he turns it around he'll stay there and well, Wharton being caught again. You know, you, you might be right there, Jim. That was why the Ukrainian second was leaning over and actually whispering in the ear there, as though anybody could understand what he was saying anyway. They just probably give it all you've got. Yeah, let, I'll give you another round, because he knows he's tired. That's when people are, are most dangerous, Reg. If they know it's the last round, you don't. A oh, good punch from Wharton. Still picking Taking. those punches back there. What a true fighter Wharton is, Reg, but he keeps running on to these shots himself. But what a true fighter, his eyes badly cut. Oh dear, that would be a shame. Oh! He gets up early. But Wharton's concentration get back. Wharton should look what he's doing here. Wharton was not looking as he walked forward there. What no, is he playing at here? He's looking at the corner, Jim. I don't I know, know why. Was. All over in the sixth round. The crowd, well, you can imagine what a battle that's been. And what a victory for Henry Wharton, the man who was under fire so much. He just outgamed and outgunned this fellow right at the end. Well, Reg, Wharton can look upon that as one of his best ever victories because he showed what he's all about. Sheer guts, determination, everything that makes a great fighter. Yeah, that was a Lord great victory. Wants to work right away on that eye, Jim. I don't know why he was looking at the corner. Right at the last seconds, he was, in fact, looking at the UK. I mean, is he, I mean, he must have been as he threw those punches. Reg, it was, it was right at the last strange, right? second. No, he was walking towards the Ukrainian looking at the corner. I couldn't believe yeah, it. He could have walked right onto a swing there, but he didn't. He finished it beautifully, Jim. But they just showed us what Henry Wharton is all about, Reg. So much guts. If you've got to be in the trenches, you want this guy beside you. Oh, absolutely. Well, now, can, it, can he go on to a light heavyweight championship now? Let's have a look at the first knockdown, Jim. That was yeah. a lovely, I thought that was all over there, the way he went down, Reg. I didn't think he would recover from that. This guy's so tough. He wanted out of the fight the round before, Mickey Van more or less talked him back into it. But he still gave Wharton loads of trouble. Oh, that, that left hook's a peach of a punch, it's almost impossible to block that. I think, I think the first punch landed in the thigh right enough, Reg. But there, here's the finish now, bang, bang, bang. Beautiful shot. 
well, beautiful for the man that's landing, but not for the man that's receiving them. One, two, three, four. The next time, five. What do you know about that? Tremendous. Another angle. There it is in the final yeah, angle. Great finish. Just unbelievable, that, isn't it? I mean, natural finish. I just left hook, left hook. But guess what his favourite punch is, Reg? You yeah. see it might be the left hook. It could well be. And good referee. Yeah, I think he was glad to see that fellow out of there, Reg. That was a tough, tough night's work. So the official MC decision there, timing of the round. John McDonald. Ladies and gentlemen, one minute and ten seconds of the sixth round. Referee Mickey Van has stopped the contest. Your winner, the pride of Yorkshire, Fabian Henry Walter. And sports fans, please show your appreciation for a very, very game boxer indeed. Constantine Oki. Exactly this for the next half an hour and full marks for this game guy there and a great win for Henry Wharton and let's hope he can get on to the light heavyweight bandwagon now.